Alright, I assume when everyone's saying co-op is amazing in Withering Waves, they're talking about this and not the domain instance things, because whenever I try to do, like, the instance and whatever, I can never get anyone in a queue. It's like, the only time I get people in a queue is if I were to do the one that's right below my tier, but I don't want that one. I want the one that's at my tier level, you know? So instead of doing a level 71, I want to do the 80, but no one's doing 80. Everyone's doing 70. I don't know why. Someone needs to tell me why. Please tell me why. I can't play with anyone in co-op. But open world co-op, I've already played a bit. I thought it was pretty nice. I am curious about other people's opinions on it, though. So we're going to go ahead and see how they feel. Okay, guys, I want to have a chat about co-op, show you some footage that I recorded from testing the co-op inside Wuthering Waves. Massive shout out to my yeah. man Grimro uh, for doing yeah, all yeah, this yeah. testing with me. Now, I was pleasantly surprised with the way the co-op works inside this game. Um, we'll go through a bunch of things and I'll put a bunch of B-roll, but the first things I just want to like quick TLDR on, the ping was amazing. There was a couple little lags amazing. in characters, but in Says general, MS. the combat still felt fluid considering both of us that were playing were both playing from australia on vpn to japan so i thought it was really good for co-op uh in that oh, sense I see what they've they done mean. it very well in that it makes your uh farming of your echoes or your gear much quicker it allows you access uh, to farming not for my more gear but definitely world, my echo and oh but my goodness who is lawn mowing right now you can actually get them so it's it's quite insane and it is actually just really fun to be able to go ahead and do that faster now you can go and kill bosses together which is pretty cool and stuff like that i'm sorry so you guys th had there to hear that there's a lot of things inside this that we're going to talk about in this video but i think co-op is one of those things where i didn't really care about it coming into the beta they do it like I've four times it, a week i'm actually very impressed with it the and it's one of my favorite features inside the game now how long that will remain i don't know because it is tied into the grindy guaranteed it's only gonna last as a fun exciting thing for like maybe two weeks and then after that you could be like oh i don't want to do this anymore i'd rather just not do it i don't care i don't care for any of the stuff i'm done min maxing that that's how it feels for me at least after two weeks i'm sure others feel the same probably hopefully am i having another hot take oh aspect of the game and maybe you don't do it as much but i think in nonetheless it's been well implemented and it's pretty enjoyable so let's jump in so the first thing i want to do is jump into the game and explain the basics to how jump the on co-op system jump works on so it. first of all to do co-op with someone you can find random people in the world for instance here if we go to the top left of my mini map we can click that and you can see it has the apply to join thing now we can join in parties of three and as you can see here i can see everyone around now you can only you can look for joinable Groups, or you can look for friends as you can see Grimo is my friend and I can does this to work join I don't group. I've never done this playing and we can fill out those spots uh, and now you can jump how in hard is it to find someone to play with and go for them however you can also adjust this to see who can join you and stuff like that there are different options there but that's the basics to it and what the easiest way is going to be you grab a friend get them on your friends list you just give them your your account ID they add you as a friend <laughs> just give them your do account now, do that quickly <laughs> uh, we're just gonna have to go into the friends menu and it's pretty self-explanatory you just add in an ID and away you go. Uh, you can also, as you can see, apply for co-op request through your friends list directly if you want to do that as well. So there's two ways to get into it. Now, once you get into co-op, now I only tested with two players, but uh, I'm assuming it will be pretty simple to expand how three players will Yeah, work. I feel like two uh, or three players is not different. Is you Someone is the host and someone is the guest. So if I applied to join Grimbro here, I would be part of his world. If he applied to join me, he would be part of my world. And the owner of the world is allowed to use two characters and the other player gets but that's the third character in the team. Now that's only if it's two people though. When it's three, it's obviously one, one, one. So just re-clarifying that. When we get into it, once you've got the two players and one player, it's a bit confusing. I think there is a bug right now where one player's heals do not affect the other player. Same with shields. I'm assuming it's the same with buffs and everything. So there's that interaction. That is true. When I played this with uh, my bestie, she did not get any healings when she was healing me. Like, she she's like, flowers! And then, like, I get the heals, but then her health is still at, like, 5%. And I'm just like, I can't help you. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
So at the moment on this beta, it is a bit sketchy. Like you got to bring someone in with. Oh, I see. He was playing during the beta. This is all, isn't get it? The heels from the team. But that is the one issue. But I kind of wanted to watch that, this because was everyone was commenting. Pleasant. So the first thing I want to talk about is that the perf uh, the whole reason why I'm watching this to begin with is because everyone was talking about like how other games aren't doing so good because they don't have co-op compared to this one kind of thing. And I was like, yeah, but I'm, I've already done co-op and I didn't really think it was that good. But let's see what other people think of co-op, I guess. Like at first it's nice, right? But after a while it's not. So I don't know if they're new to the game and they're still in the, like, the hype or pink glasses mode. But for me, it's like, since I've been playing since day one, and I, I still haven't even missed a single... Oh my god, I still haven't missed a single day since playing Wuthering Waves. Um, that's crazy. Oh, I, I hate my life. <laughs> uh, well, I'm... Oh. Oh no, I'm having a crisis now. <laughs> but basically, once you've done as much as I have in Wuthering Waves... I don't know if you're taking it for granted or more like you just don't care for the mode because even when it first came out I've only played played it with my bestie for maybe two weeks tops but like not accumulated accumulated time but like over the course of the two weeks we played like uh, five times or six times in co-op that's just how little co-op means to me i guess i'm sure other people don't feel the same way apparently but maybe like the og players like the ones that played longer feel the same i'm curious so let me know i feel like it's more of a feature for newer players to like experiment with their friends uh, the main purposes for actually doing co-op when the game launches. Now, once again, they could change some of this from the beta, uh, but basically it makes farming echoes so much better. Now, I'm going to have to do a whole video just giving a basic understanding of what echoes are, but essentially they're the gear system and killing mobs around the world can give you pieces of gear, essentially. Now, by joining up and partying with someone, what happens is uh, you guys can go around and kill mobs together and then they can drop the echoes. Now, the highest chance you have is about a 20% chance for when you kill a mob for it to have the echo left behind, which is your gear. So that's your sort of drop chance. But that's now, only in the, the beginning cool this before you level up you your be data bank. You can the side of the map to the person that you're in co-op with. They can kill mobs and then you can teleport over there and you've, you can still get echoes from the mobs they killed. Now, the other thing in this is that echoes in I'm your world, sure. you can only kill each enemy once per day. They spawn at the end of every day. So if you've got one echo you're really looking for, for, for me, there's this one Havoc one that I'm going for, but I believe there's only one enemy of it in the entire world. I can only go there for that one per day, but I can join someone else who hasn't killed it yet, kill it in their world, find someone else, kill it in their world, and snowball like that. And it allows you access to keep farming that one piece that you want to try and get the good main stat. So I think that is very, very helpful. Now, the other thing that we do, do people have still is do that? obviously I feel like fights. that's too now, much these work. Are the boss fights that are not the hard one. The Man, whole just got slapped. <laughs> you cannot go in together. They don't let you do it. Uh, it doesn't let you really do the end game modes together, which is completely understandable because they are the end game modes. In you know, speaking of like doing stuff together, I'm I'm a little confused why they let you do certain like domain farming instances, right? But they don't let you do weeklies and stuff together. Why is that? Why can't I just do a weekly boss together with my friends? Could someone explain that? Is there a way around it or is that just how it is? Let me know. Like, do you invite them to your world first and then explain? Or is it just locked out entirely? What is it? Pro predominantly a single player focused game uh, I would think it would be really cool if they did add some co-op modes later on but at the moment those modes are locked for you yourself to challenge yourself which makes sense but the great thing about the co-op is it allows you to do the grindy stuff so the other bosses around the world which have the chance to drop echoes you can go ahead and you can do those in co-op as well now what I found when I was teaming up with Grimo he was a bit more advanced with me better characters better gear it made farming those bosses to get the echoes a 
ton faster. It made it so much more efficient. And even he himself, when we exited, yeah, but was it more like, fun? Dude, it's taking too long to farm these echoes now. So it does speed up that process really well. And I think this is a really great point for the game in that if you then have three players, that then speeds it up faster. You can imagine. Yes, you do miss out on swapping between your own characters, but, but you're three times like faster. Like two or three characters attacking that enemy at the same time, which is makes a big difference. Uh, well, technically, da damage-wise, you'd be way f more faster than three times because you'd still be able to use the um, the character swap ability. Your, you, you'd still be able to use your intro skill whenever like it flashes, even in co-op. So you'd, you'd still be doing a lot of damage. So not only is it three times the players beating on a single enemy, but all of them are be able to also use their intro skills which goes, I believe, three times faster as well, unless they nerf it, which I'm pretty sure they didn't. So it, it's pretty interesting as a concept. Damage potential, even though you can't do, you know, your proper combos, you can still get all those effects. I can bring a character in that has debuffs for the enemy to increase their damage taken. Everyone's going to benefit from that. You can see how it really snowballs and allows you to kill things faster. It's also really handy if you can be in a party with people and go, okay, we're going to clear all the echoes in this area. I just got to go get a drink. They can go kill them, you can catch up, you can collect all those echoes, and then you can take a turn killing echoes while they go do something. I think it's just really, it adds to speed and efficiency of doing what could end up being seen as the mundane grind. Then we look at one step further in the fact that I have not seen... I, I was just like thinking, like, it'd be pretty cool if they made a game kind of like this in, into an MMO. Or not an MMO, but like, let's say you keep it similar like the concept right but you kind of turn it into uh, I don't, what do you call it a sandbox yeah like a sandbox but more stuff you're interactable together like the bosses and stuff I think that would be a pretty cool feature but though no, that's that's just like talking about like a dream, so yeah. Let's let's just continue. I'm I'm getting off topic. A shiny echo yet? No one that I know personally in the beta has seen a shiny echo yet, which I... is an altered coloration of the echo. Something that I'm pretty excited about. But I'm eh, curious okay. to see they're if mid. you can find those in other people's world and have a chance to get them there as well. I think that would really add to the shiny hunting aspect. Shiny so hunting is kind of boring. inside this that make it really nice. It's not now, worth as it. As I mentioned at the start of the year, the ping was really good. We're both in Australia playing with VPNs to Japanese servers, and it was great. We had one time where the turtle would bug out where we attacked him, he stood up, and then he was in the ground again. But besides <laughs> that, it wasn't too bad. Um... The other thing is, like, some of the bosses, if they've got a field that goes around the boss when you start, uh, make sure you're in there together when you trigger the boss. Otherwise, you won't be able to join in with the other person. Aww. You'll be left on the sidelines looking, going, yay. So there's that as well. So there's a few little things to, I, to note. I have never general, noticed that before. I think they've done a great job of delivering this co-op in that it's not only um, just there for the sake of being there. It is there because it gives you a benefit. But the benefit is isn't disproportional it's 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 a good benefit for those that really want to grind but you don't have to do it if you don't want to so personally I think i'd rather i'm i'm of the opposite opinion i'd rather have it like uh you're forced to do it if you want like uh, not progress but like i want it to be more beneficial if you play with other players because right now it's like I, I've been playing this entire game solo after the first two weeks. I will not try to join anyone randomly, including for like the farming of the um, ascension materials or skills and whatnot. i just been doing it all solo. If they like make it more beneficial somehow for me to like join an open world though, then yeah, I'll do it. But right now it's like... Ugh. And it hasn't changed since the beta, as as we all know. Or at least as I know. Heck, even, you know those bosses where it's like the level 120 bosses and like you're level 70 or 80? Like around the world and stuff? I, I clap those things on my own. I, I don't bother going online, which I guess makes sense for some people. It would be easier online. But 
it's it's not enough. There's not enough of a benefit to it. It's like, oh, I beat it. whoop de doo But that's about it. Like, yeah, sure, you get like a legendary echo, but in my my case, where like they're all legendary echoes now, I'm just I don't need it. I don't need it, man. I I need something else to make it better, make it worth it. Make me play with other players. Really balance with his co-op in one, it feels good. Two, it has a function. But three, the function isn't necessary. So I think that is the perfect placement of co-op in a heavily single player game. So that is my take on co-op so far. Once again, I don't know. just unlocked it. Single player game, just keep it single player. That's all I'm saying. Having a mix and match just to cater to everyone being like a multiverse kind of thing. I mean, yeah, sure, like, people like that, it will get more players to join the game. But me personally, when I buy a single-player game, I want to play a single-player game. Like, if I go to a, like, let's say GameStop, for instance. I go to a GameStop and I, uh, I buy, oh, I, I was, I was going to say Animal Crossing, but that, that's not a good one because it has both. Let's say I buy Xenoblade Chronicles. That's an RPG game. It's like 80 something dollars. I, price doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, I would ch I, w I would play that single player. If they added like a mo where it's like, oh, you can you can technically play this uh this cave over here with other players. Do you want to do that? It's like no. I've been playing this game single all my whole life. Why would I want to do that? Whereas if it was uh, forced from the start where it's like there's other players running around or it's like constantly, you know, then I'd be like, oh, yeah, cue me up, dab me up, let's go. But it's not. So I don't know. I feel like that's where I run it differently compared to a lot of other people. We spent about an hour testing before I had to go to bed. Um, and yeah, like I said, I am thoroughly impressed with it. I was not expecting anything at all from co-op. And it's now one of my favorite features inside the game. But anyway, guys, that is going to be for this one. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome... Yep. Well, I already said all of my opinions that I'm aware of. If you guys have any questions or any hot takes or majority takes, where, however you call them, put them in the comments. I'll, I'll definitely check them out uh feel free to break my heart <laughs> uh but yeah i'll see you guys later with more withering waves and until then i'll s don't forget his video is down in the description so be sure to drop him a like all right peace